listening to the Duncan Duo Show on 970 WFLA. Give us a call with your questions. Would love your questions today about homeowners insurance or home inspections. Uh, 990-9352 in Hillsboro, 461-9352 in Pinellas, or 1-800-969-9352. So, Richard, we, we've talked a lot about, um, you know, the, the some of the heated topics in the homeowners insurance world over the last couple times you've been on the show. And one of those that, that's that's coming around right now are, you know, really heavy on the four-point inspection stuff. It seems to be causing some challenges because... You know, you've seen in the paper the last few weeks, Citizens is, is really mandating certain condition requirements or people are losing the ability to get homeowner's insurance. So what are some types of condition ailments that can cause someone to not be able to get homeowner's insurance? Well, the biggest one that we run into is conditions with somebody's roof. Um, and, and you and I were having a little conversation earlier where I'm, I'm constantly surprised that when we're working with customers on insurance and they present us with a four-point inspection thinking, okay, I'm great, here's the inspection, here's all I need to get my insurance, but then I look at the inspection and it's talking about active roof leaks and active water intrusion and things like that. And it's not just a matter of getting an inspection. It's actually an inspection that shows no ma so so like right. for example on the four point and Randy I'll, I'll ask you this in a minute too but on the four point the things that they don't want to see um, are roof leaks major um, you know structural problems uh, you know electrical, infestations electrical electrical is a big one also um, you know we see um, always seeing uh, homes with major electrical issues and basically the insurance companies want these things to be repaired before they're going to insure the house because the situation that they run into and, and that's this is the reason they're asking for these inspections now is because for years citizens didn't require much documentation in order to insure a house and uh, they go ahead and insure a house that might be 50, 60, 70 years old and the first time we get a major rainstorm that comes through, the roof is leaking. So the customer calls in a claim, and they wind up getting a brand new ten thousand dollar roof. Right. So Randy, we talk a, a lot about the difference between you know what a four point inspection covers, and then what a home inspection covers. When people talk about four points, what are the four points? Those four points are the roof, the heating and air conditioning system, electrical, and plumbing. Those okay. are the, the four major points. And the thing that people have to consider is that the home inspection report is going to point out those defects and it's also going to talk about you know the general lifespan of everything and a lot of times when you do a home inspection there's going to be some minor repairs that overall the condition will be good but in the four point world those little minor defects where we say the roof is in overall good condition might you know be a trip up for the insurance company so yeah they might be looking for those things to be repaired even though they're relatively minor items in the, the actual Under home inspection understand. world. Uh, I did have one the other day where uh, the pipes, the plumbing pipes in the house were original cast iron drain lines and they were getting old and just starting to develop some little weeping rust blisters we call them where they're starting to deteriorate over time. There were no real active leaks but you could see that they were getting old and uh, the insurance company came back and said they wanted those pipes replaced or, even though they were functioning properly yep. at the time. So that's something definitely you have to consider where um, that might require further investigation at the time of the home inspection before you get into that four-point world so that you don't run into any trip-ups in how, insurance. How old does that, you know, what, what is the requirement? Isn't there a certain year requirement, you know, how old a home, you know, is before four points required? Or, or do they arbitrarily just require four points in certain situations? No, it varies from company to company. Okay. Um, I think that the youngest that we have um, is uh, 30 years. We, we have a, com a major company here in Florida that requires a four-point inspection at 30 years. The majority of them are 40 years, and then in citizens' world, then when you hit that 50-year mark, then they yeah. require it. But there are some other inspections that are starting to be required besides just the four-point that, uh, that, that I'm sure we'll get into here shortly.